Welcome back to Wingnuts and the home of micro maintenance and part two of episode 12 and the end of season one. It's been an absolutely fantastic season. We hope you've enjoyed our content. We will be back, uh, but until the next episode, we're going to fire out a few uh, season specials. We hope you enjoy them. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, click on notifications as well so you can receive and we'll see you again next season. Thanks guys. to Wingnuts, home of micro maintenance. We've still got the two uh, PBs. Um, this is a, an Adam uh, and a PB70 over there. We are about to start fitting the Tiggies and the um, motor monitor and the RPM gauges to these. So this is going to be a little bit of work for us next week. But our Sky Ranger Ninja LS custom build uh, it's progressing even more. I keep hinting to you guys that we have a secret. It looks like this aircraft is going to be completed in the next couple of weeks. We've had a massive development on this aircraft and we really can't wait to start test flying it. So all of those little tricks should all start coming together and we can't wait to get this aircraft done. But with the Sub-70 show bought in a number of people that we have huge respect for. We got Rob Mop here from the BMEA, Paul Dewurst from Flylight, um, John from Exodus, Ben from Flylight and they're all quite scary as they were pouring over this machine just giving us a few little tips and hints and, and to, which was quite nice getting some congratulations from, uh, from them on work that we've done so really can't wait to see this one start progressing so yeah really looking forward to that one. Uh, what else have we been going on? So the world headquarters, we were trying our hardest to make this a little bit uh, more completed, ready for the weekend. So I've got a TV screen and I'll hopefully get some, uh, some branding up over there. Where's everyone hiding? Normally, this is where I would be giving Ben a hard time, but this is normally the question that I ask myself on most days. Where is Ben? I heard Ben's helping me was screamed in from there. So engineering, engineering as always is the hub of micro maintenance. And here we have our Alan who's working on a secret project this week. We always like our secret projects, mainly because we don't like things sneaking out until we're actually 100% happy with them. But um, Alan this week was working away on some of our Tiggy and motor monitor brackets so that they can get fitted to the machines next week. So it's nice to see the engineering being used. Hey, boss. Here we are. Oh, here we go. Spot the difference. <laughs> there we go. A PB and a Tiggy bracket. I'm going to see a million of those on eBay. But also, at the end of the uh, end of the week, we got a great phone call um, from another guy talking of uh, Alan's mods. Um, who wants a number of things fitted to his Sky Ranger? Great news. I'm looking forward to it, mate. Cheers, buddy. See you soon. Bye now. Bye bye. That's going to be a nice one. Sky Ranger. Sky Ranger coming in. Wants all of your mods. All of them? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Hey, that's a workload for you. Well, not for me, for you. So yeah, it was great to receive that phone call and we were really looking forward uh, to implementing some new mods on there. Yeah, I don't know whether I want to give you too much information on that. Brendan was working away on this uh, Quantum 582 all week. Um, he got a number of things sprayed up exhaust wise, just uh, aftercare, making sure everything's as it should be. He done varying bits on the exhaust, so quite an exhaust related uh, week uh, for Brendan on the 582 but this is really moving on and we can't wait to get this back into the school just so they can be running uh, two flex wings for the first time in a while. The GTR well this is going to be in storage for a bit the parts have been ordered and it's just a matter of waiting for those to arrive 
but the guys at GS Aviation are obviously are doing what they can to get those parts to us. Uh, so yes, that's that one uh, on there. This week we also had the chance of getting out and doing a quick valet. So who else was I going to take along than the one and only Giles Fowler off of Golf Foxtrot 22? It's good off from a valet. And who have I got with me today? But the one and only Giles Fowler. If he's going to come, I'm going to make him work. <laughs> So we're off to uh, an airfield that's not a million miles away from us and this plane is going to be all about the interior so it's a plane that the guy's just bought. He's uh, not flown it yet, he's hoping to fly it at the weekend so we're going to get in there, we're going to uh, do the best we can. So I've no idea what we're walking into just yet. Let's see if we can get there. Yep. Bit of spit and polish sir. I've run out of spit. <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> it's late. It's been a long afternoon, but we are done. Anyway, that was a very long day uh, and quite enjoyable um, to see the results and a great feedback from the owner on there. During our sub 70 week, we also were to uh, receipt of this quick I always get these names wrong quick light so this is the SSDR version um, of the quick um, so it's a single seat uh, 582 engine on there and those of you that are watching Facebook this is the one that ended up in a field so he's bought this to us we're gonna crawl all over this aircraft over the next week uh, going to give it a, in effect, a permit inspection. We're going to do all the engine services that we need to do to it. Try and find out what the problem and why this engine turned off in the first place. Uh, and hopefully give the owner a peace of mind um, so we can go back flying again. So I'm looking forward to flying that one myself. That'll be there. Right, what else? PBs wise, here we have Martin Oran. Hi uh, Martin, Hello. currently crawling over my machine taking pictures. <laughs> so PBs wise we had an amazing sub 70 event and one of the reasons why we've got a, a huge amount of space is we had to clear the area but whilst it's clear we're going to get some of those special videos out the way uh, that we've been promising to do so uh, my PBs here we're going to do a derig video straight after I've done this walk around. But yes, the story of this week very much was the sub-70 weekend and it was fantastic. An early start uh, on uh, getting everything all ready and then on the Friday was just absolutely crazy getting everything all ship shape in order just for the weekend. Saturday was fantastic, really got nice to see some people there and of course we ended the day on Sunday. Uh, just great to meet so many people. Anyway, that's it for... Uh, wing nuts this week of this episode hopefully directly above me one of these sides there will be a special uh, of our sub 70 weekend so please click on that and tell us what you think uh, about these pbs which for me are the future of flexwing microlite we also had the delta jet here as well what a stunning machine i can see one of those in my future anyway thanks ever so much for watching we really do appreciate it we've had some amazing feedback and comments people sending us emails with uh, varying tips and what they would like to see messages in the comments below or we always read them and obviously if you have the time and would like don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can see firsthand any exclusive comment uh, content that we put in out directly on YouTube but until next week guys thanks ever so much for watching we really do appreciate it and we'll see you next week at Microwave